Hello and welcome to another video. For those who don't know, there's one bolt in the front on each side here and there. There's one bolt in the back here. One that you have to actually pull the seat forward over here and then you have the seat belt here and it's the same thing for that side so let's quickly do that so, anytime I take a bolt off I'm gonna put it right back that way I don't misplace anything Seatbelts. At some point, I should get one of those battery powered ratchets. Till then, we'll consider it more cardio. Battery swap, let's keep going. got the gray carpet which is disgusting removed from the 1992 c1500 otherwise known as the green truck and I'm going to spray it with some Febreze carpet cleaner first let that soak in for a minute I'm gonna agitate it a bit with the drill 
actually it's a driver and uh, once that's dried in a bit hopefully soaked in and got some of this nasty stuff out if you can see there's some really bad stains on this so I wanted to get this clean day I'm not gonna replace it I'm going to refurbish it I'm gonna dry it with the wet vac here and then I'm gonna leave it sitting in the Sun which today there's not much of so hopefully it'll come out a little bit later so let's get started on cleaning this bucket. I'm using warm water in this. That should be more than enough. Well, no instructions on how much is needed, so. We'll just use a little dab. A little dab will do ya. That'll do. Shake this up and get it all over the carpet. Using the drill probably would have been better than the driver. All right, let's be a little clear on something. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I've never cleaned a rug before. I bought this to clean the rug on the floor, and then I always pay someone to detail the car. So this is actually the first time I've cleaned a car rug. So hopefully this is gonna turn out okay, but I'm gonna guess that you just keep going over it until the nasty crap stops showing up in here and it looks clear. So let's give that uh, tack a try. <laughs> I will say for my lightning fast shit show of a clean job, it does seem to be cleaning, so let's keep going. Alright, we've got a disgusting fill tank, full tank, and we're out of water, so let's dump this out. Oop, look at that. Let's dump it right back on the carpet. That's a beautiful thing. Well, that's disgusting. And I guess we're going to need to vacuum that back up, huh? For those that don't know, there's actually a brush, kind of like that one, on the end of this. So, kind of spraying it down with the trigger, brushing it in a little bit and then spraying it and vacuuming it back off. And then once I get it, once I get it nice and saturated, I'm vacuuming again. So, and it, it seems to be working because this is, you know, really disgusting and that's a little less disgusting. So, let's keep going. All right. That's gonna do it for my dreams of being a carpet cleaner or a car carpet cleaner. Definitely not anything enjoyable about doing that. It's disgusting, but uh, it's done. So now we're gonna let this dry. The paint is shaken up. The carpet is clean and dry. Let's uh, start to get a few coats on this thing and see how it comes out. If you're wondering why I'm including this, it's because I'm testing the uh, eight-man camera, as I said. So we're going to test both the video and the audio on this camera and see if it matches up to the uh, GoPro. I'm going to leave these out in the sun. Makes them spray a hell of a lot better. All 
All right. I'm gonna start at the far end over here. Here we go. First coat's gonna be kind of light, just like with the seats. Second coat will be thicker, and the third coat we're gonna cake it on. You can already see the difference. It's going to be a nice black piece here. Much cheaper than replacing the rugs or the carpets. I actually replaced all the carpets in the black Tahoe. But this one, they're in perfect condition. So we'll let that dry. Get these couple little jumping grass bugs off. That's good to go. And on these pieces, just a test but I'm gonna clean these get some uh, plastic the adhesive promoter which I have on the shelf over there we'll spray these down cover this off and then I will do the black but the this is actually a gloss black and I want the plastic pieces to be a flat or semi gloss whatever option they have because I don't want them to have as much shine as the carpets do the carpets I like to have them shiny the plastic I do not want them as shiny
I saw two coats on here, three coats on here, and they match. This already has two coats, so you can see those uh, are nice. So we're gonna let these dry with the vinyl and fabric dupla color in black. This is where we're at now, and this is where we started. Now, anywhere where there's a flaw in the seat, where the uh, fabric has kind of worn away, or there's cigarette burns, that you're not gonna be able to hide. It's always gonna look different. But as you can see, it comes out very nice. Vinyl looks fantastic. The cloth looks amazing, except for in the spots where it was faded, which this is the driver's seat, so it was pretty faded. I'm guessing this was a work truck at some point in time. Anywhere in here that was faded and across there, that shows, but it looks fantastic. I'm really happy with the outcome. I'm gonna peel this tape off in a minute. That's still chrome. So when all is said and done, when my new seats get in, I'll probably put these up for sale and let somebody else enjoy them. I'm gonna take these bottoms, take the bottoms and actually paint those as well. Those are gonna go to black on both of them. I redid the little knob, that's nice and shiny. I got to do this back carpet. I did the two kick panel carpets over there. I only have the gloss version of this and I do not want the plastic bits as shiny as the carpet. So I'm gonna have to pick up some of the flat battery just died on the GoPro, so this one's still going. We're going to uh, see how you do. That is looking pretty good. So you see what this one looks like. Put this down. And that's what a brand new one looks like. Fresh from the factory. I'm going to say they're identical. We're pretty damn close to it. I got to do the uh, passenger and middle seat over there. The driver's seat came out fantastic. Um, yeah, one is definitely not going to do. So, and I don't want it to look uneven with stripes. So I need to get one more can. To do that because it's going to take two and a half cans because that one took one and a half cans so that's going to be it for the uh carpet portion of today i'm going to go get cleaned up stay tuned thank you for watching if you enjoy this uh, ridiculousness then uh, please like subscribe leave a comment down below if you have any questions about what i used or why i did it the way i did it i'm by no means a professional i just have fun doing this kind of stuff and they're mine so why not